I'm Tony Poulos and I'm here at Communication 2016 in Singapore with Lim Chi Siong, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for Huawei Southern Pacific. Lim, great to catch up again. The whole conference here is talking about building a better connected world. How is a country's economic future dependent on being better connected? Yeah, that's a very important question uh, to most of the country here, especially in Asia Pacific. Um, so, ICT, uh, infrastructures, is the basic to build a digital world. So, and uh, recently we see uh, the digital economy uh, is so important. Uh, today, it represents about 20% of uh, developed countries. And in the next five to 10 years, you see that percentage will increase to even up to 50%. So, and since the entire digital economy will have to rely on the ICT infrastructures, so we see that ICT infrastructure, especially the broadband uh, at, at the bottom, is, is, is so critical for countries in the future. And what part does ICT innovative technology play as a driver for national development? Okay, so in Huawei GCI research, we think that there are five major technology enablers uh, to support the digital economies. So they are broadband, cloud, data centers, IoT, and big data. I understand that Huawei has undertaken a global connectivity index uh, based on a country's stages of national digitalization. Now, how is this index measured and how does it benefit those involved? Okay, so the GCI will help to benchmark how a digital economy should be developed and how to achieve that for particular countries. So we measure in uh, four domains on the supply, demand, experience and the potential. So we, 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 we get used to know what is the supply and demand models. But uh, we add in a very important factor, which is the experience. So we think that the digital economy is actually driven by the end user high, higher expectation on the experience. So the experience is the major focus to drive the demand and also the supply. Accelerating that digitalization process and building a better connected world involves a number of parties and, and also industry sectors. Who is involved in these national digitalization programs? I think the entire industry, everyone is involved in, the, in this ecosystem. So uh, whether it's an operator that actually build a network, whether it's the individuals, uh, consumers or the business, and, um, and whether it's uh, even the housing developers, uh, even is uh, engineering companies or all the regulators, analysts, consulting firms. So I think everyone should be involved to make, the, uh, to make this happen. Um, but among all these players, uh, government will play a very important role. So especially in the developing countries. So we need uh, the government to have a more active role in designing the framework. A framework that all the parties able to jump in and contribute together. What vertical industries will be involved in the transformation and what will be the drivers for their involvement? Can you give me any examples? Uh, yes, uh, recently we see, uh, like for example, um, uh, a Southeast Water company in Australia. So we are working with them uh, in, about, in uh, coming out with a smart metering. So the, the innovative solution is not just about uh, reducing the uh, human uh, the the human rural cost, but it's actually to detect the water leakage issue. So in our region, water leakage is, is a major issue. In Malaysia, it cannot go up to 35 percent water leakage on the revenue loss. So with the smart metering based on IoT technologies, so we are able to uh, detect wherever the water leakage happened, and then uh, someone can just go go up there and fix it. So that will reduce, significantly reduce uh, the uh, amount of water leakage and also the revenue loss. So I think um, the watering industry is, is I think they are, they, are, they are already seeing the benefit of having the IoT technologies, but more and more industry will able to uh, benefit uh, from the latest technologies. So for Huawei, we think that the narrowband IoT is, is a very key wireless technologies that will make all these things happen sooner. And what part do you see Huawei playing in all of this? Yep, so for us, because we have a vision of a better connected world, and um, 
So for us, uh, one of our job is to keep on educating the industry, uh, let the industry, let the government aware of what are the innovative technology that is available to bring the benefit to them, to bring the values to them. So I think that, that is our major, ma major task uh, in the next five to ten years. Lim Chi Siong, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you.